This is a video on the Ulanzi PT-5 microphone mount plate. Now, as you can see, it says on here for the Sony A6400, uh, but you can use this on any other mirrorless camera because I use the Canon M3 and it fits on there quite all right um, with enough room to put my Rode a wireless go unit on there no problem so it's not just for the Sony you can use it on any other mirrorless camera now full bodied DLSR cameras they might be a bit of a struggle because of the distance between the hole to the mount uh, may be a bit short um, may not be enough room to put your microphone or light on as I says, best thing to do is in this situ in that situation is to buy the product from Amazon, test it to see it, the distance between them is all right for your camera. That's the best thing to do because if not, at least you can return it back to Amazon with um, no questions asked. Rather than eBay, with some buyers, they will probably won't accept it back because there's to them there's nothing wrong with the actual item. It's more or less, you didn't measure the distance between them for your camera. So I always try and buy from Amazon if I can. Anyway, apart from that, we'll go around the box. Obviously, Ulanzi branding here and the item, the model number of the unit. A nice picture of the unit. Ulanzi's address and it's blank on that side and blank on that. Now this unit cost me six pounds to buy, but I bought mine from off eBay. <laughs> I bought mine from off eBay because I looked on YouTube and saw other people with their mirrorless cameras. So I knew this one would most likely fit. Now, just in the box, you get the item wrapped up in bubble wrap. And that's the item. And obviously on there it states Ulanzi uh, P, the Ulanzi uh, PT-5. We have a nice bit of a rubber here uh, with some grip on there uh, to grip it to the bottom of your camera. The actual screw thread, a quarter inch thread here and then we have a quarter inch socket thread here for your tripod. So obviously you can screw that onto the camera and then screw that to the tripod to place it on there. And then we have the cold shoe mount here um, uh, to put your microphone, light, etc. on there. Now I'll measure with a tape measure for you the distance between that point here, the point of the screw, to the beginning part of the cold shoe mount. And I'll try and get this in frame as much as I possibly can. I'll try and get it enough to focus on it. And that's it. Now you're looking at about three inches or 80 centimeters, 80 centimeters. So that's what you're looking at. So I'll do it again, roughly about three and a half inches or 80 centimeters, just to be on the safe side. Um, oh gosh, I've actually measured that wrong. Um, it's actually 70 centimeters from the point 70 centimeters from the point of the screw to the end here, you're looking at 70 centimeters or just 2.3 quarter inches. So two, two and a three quarter inches or 70 centimeters from that point. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my Canon uh, M3, um, just to give you an idea what that looks like. Okay, this is my Canon M3 camera with now the 
Ulanzi PT5 microphone mount on it. And as you can see, that's how it looks on the bottom. Now you have to be careful which way you put this on because if you put this on the other way, because how this is not exactly dead center, um, the quarter inch tripod thread uh, is not exactly dead center in this camera. It's slightly more to this side than to that side. So it will be too short to put the road um, mic uh, wireless go on there or any other microphone. You probably could put a small light on there on that side, no problem, but not on this side. But, um, but um, not on this side, sorry. And that's the setup, how it is. And as you can see, it goes in the bottom of where the camera is, which leaves you with still a quarter inch screw thread um, here to place on your tripod. And the build of this um, item, this mount, is metal, not plastic. And as you can see, I've got my Rode uh, wireless go connected to the side. Now you can put, obviously, if you haven't got the wireless go, you can put your, um, what do you call it again, shotgun mic on there uh, from Rode or any other company. Uh, I've got a Boyer one myself and I, and I, um, would put this on there anyway so you got room to put it on there as you can see and now I know some people will be saying to me well you've got the hot shoe or stroke cold shoe mount up here so why don't you put that up there now the only reason why you'd buy this setup is um, this camera has a flip up screen so if you're vlogging obviously you can't put a microphone there so, or a light here, you cannot do it, simply cannot do it. So, at least uh, with this thing here, you can still vlog um, with your view here in the screen, uh, no problem. And still have your uh, microphone here or your light, um, etc. to the side. So, as you can see, it's a simple setup um, with this camera just to show you the microphone mount on there. And it still keeps it small and compact, small and compact, because the weight of this mount is virtually, probably only 20 grams at the most, or 25 grams at the most. Anyway, so as you can see, that's what you need this mount for. And you don't have to rely on um, any screw holes in here to screw it in, it's just, Especially with the wireless go, you just simply open up the clip, slide it in, and that's it. That's all connected up. So as you can see for yourself, the mount from your Lanzi is really great. Now, that's the end of my video. So please do me a favor if you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section if you've got this mount or even the other mount which I'm going to get to review um, from Ulanzi which has three cold shoed mounts um, dotted around on that side. So it's like a little cube, metal cube with three mounts, cold shoe mounts around it. Uh, so leave a comment down in the comment section if you've got this mount and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.